Over the next few minutes, we're going to explore the anatomy of the human eye. So the eye is made up of several components, which we will discuss each one in turn. So what have we got in the eye? We've got the cornea. So this is at the front of the eye and it's transparent. And this is through which light is refracted. So refraction is when light enters from one medium into another and it bends. So light is going from the air to the inside of the eye. And so when this happens, the light bends and this happens in the cornea. Another part of the eye is the sclera. And this is the white part of your eye on the outside, which is protective. We've also got the retina. The retina is found at the back of the eye and is full of receptor cells. Receptor cells are sensitive to both brightness, which is light intensity, and also the color of light. The optic nerve is also found at the back of the eye, and this sends visual information in the form of electrical impulses from the retina to the brain. So light is transmitted through the optic nerve from the eye to the brain, and in the brain it will produce an image for you of what this light looks like. So let's recap those eye parts again. The retina is full of receptor cells, which are sensitive to both the brightness and the color of light. So in the eye, we've got the cornea, we've got the optic nerve, and we've also got the retina. Some other parts of the eye are the pupil, which is the hole in the center of the iris at the front of the eye through which light passes. So this is the black part in the middle of your eye, that's called the pupil. And the iris surrounds the pupil, and this controls pupil diameter and the quantity of light reaching the eye. So in really dim light, your pupils will get wider, which is controlled by the iris. And this is to let more light into your eye, so it seems like you can see better. And if you've got really bright light, your diameter of the pupil will shrink. And so behind all that, we've got the suspensory ligaments, and this ring of fibers connects the ciliary muscles to the lens. So what are the ciliary muscles? This is a ring of smooth muscle that changes the shape of the lens to focus light. So as I talked about before, the iris controls pupil diameter and the quantity of light reaching the retina. If there isn't much light, then the, uh, the iris will make our pupils dilate which means get bigger. So we've got one, we've got two types of muscle in the eye, and one of those is the ciliary muscles. And this is a ring of smooth muscle that changes the shape of the lens, which the eye uses to focus light. And these muscles are connected to the lens by the suspensory ligaments. So our retinas are full of receptor cells, and these are sensitive to brightness and color of light. We can scan the retina in retina scanning to look at the pattern of blood vessels in your retina, and this can identify you. So this pattern of blood cells is like a fingerprint. It's unique to the person. So in lots of security systems, you might have to put your eye up to a scanner and then it can work out who it is. So let's recap all of those key structures in the eye. We've got the retina, we've got the ciliary muscles, we've got the optic nerve, we've got the sclera, we've got the suspensory ligaments, we've got the cornea, we've got the iris, and we have the pupil. So those are all the key things which you need to know about.